Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Detroit, Michigan with a Sovtard who is at a pre-trial hearing for a trespassing charge who is trying to represent himself pro se. But as anything else goes with pro se defendants, it generally doesn't go all that well. And uh, this is no exception. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. All right, I'm ready on um, <clears throat> Rowley. This is case number 22452201, the people of the state of Michigan versus Reuben Crowley. The defendant is charged with one count of trespass, and today is the date set for a final pre-trial conference. Uh, appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. And Mr. Crowley, your name, please. Reuben James Crowley, Jr., uh, appearing on behalf of myself. Today is the day set for a final pre-trial conference. How are we proceeding? Is that question to me? Oh, uh, well, yeah, she's talking to you, dumbass. I mean, you're the one on trial here, and you're essentially representing yourself. So, of course, she's saying something to you, you smooth brain soft art. Yes, yes, Mr. Crowley. How are we proceeding? Um. <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to speak with the prosecutor, but I do have information that she should be privy to uh, prior to us holding this examination. Uh, well, dude, that is your responsibility to uh, go talk to the prosecutor to get the discovery and everything like that. I mean, if you're going to be representing yourself pro se, that is essentially your job. And if you don't know how to do it, well, you can always do what? Hire an attorney. But I guess that idea generally doesn't mesh too well with the sovereign citizen crap that fills your head now, does it? There's no examination to be held. There's no examination to be held. Lawyers are responsible for talking to the prosecutor before they come to court. Say what? I know before I've before they come to court. I've been trying to contact her through the uh, prosecutor through the uh, prosecutor's number. I called uh, several times and they told me that they would not um, disclose who the prosecutor was to me. And when I reached out to the court, I did. Probably, they didn't have to disclose it to you because the last time you were here. We disclosed it to you. She was here and we gave you the phone number because you're going to be representing yourself and she got your email address. Do you recall that? Uh, yes, I do, Your Honor. As a okay, matter. so, and then, Miss Ritter, did you send him the discovery? Derek, I sent over video discovery on October 27th to the email provider and I also sent paper discovery on that day as well, and my contact information is always attached on my signature when I send discovery. So you had her information, and then you could have just responded to the email that she sent you. So you've had an opportunity to, to speak with the prosecutor. So how, how do you wish to proceed today? I'd like to proceed by getting myself a brain transplant because, you know, this sovtard uh, shit has just ruined my uh, thinking skills, so uh, yeah, I'd like to start with that and then maybe get an attorney that knows what the hell they're doing, but seeing as how you won't be able to grant that, uh, I think I'll just go with the motion to dismiss because of no evidence, because I didn't see the discovery, because, because I didn't talk to the prosecutor or even bother to see if that email existed. Yeah, uh, that kind of thing. Um, well, at this point, I'm, I'm still pleading not guilty. I haven't, haven't done anything wrong. 
I would never trust. Want to continue the not guilty plea on behalf of Mr. Crowley? Set the matter for a jury trial. The court is going to set a jury trial for. I see a prompt to uh, join a breakout room. Am I supposed to join no, this room? Sir. No, that wasn't. I don't know. Okay. Go to jail. Your Honor, may I ask a question? You may. Um, now, if I have exculpatory evidence that would demonstrate. Mr. Crowley, let me interrupt you and say this. You're representing yourself. It is your responsibility to know how to represent yourself. I cannot give you any advice on that. I cannot give you any instruction on that. Um, you are representing yourself and therefore you have to be uh, responsible to know and understand all the things that lawyers go to school for years to learn. You have to be responsible to know those things. So I'm not gonna give you any instruction on how to do anything as it relates to this case. Um, you're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. We provided counsel for you. You rejected that counsel and indicated that you want to represent yourself. And so you have to do just that, represent yourself. Okay. He chose poorly. Yeah, he most certainly chose poorly when he decided to become a sovereign citizen. And he most certainly chose poorly by uh, following that sovereign citizen ideology and representing himself pro se because he thought he could do better than any uh, lawyer assigned to him. Well, dude, you don't know the system, and, well, the system is about to give you a good reaming at this point, uh, so you might as well sit back and enjoy the ride because it's going to be a bumpy one. Well, for you anyway. Okay, is there, is this an opportunity for me to make a motion for dismissal? Mr. Crowley, you have to know how to represent yourself. Okay, I would like to make a motion for dismissal on the grounds that there is no evidence uh, that demonstrates that I trespassed. That was provided right. to me by the prosecutor. Well, that's because you've already stated that you never got together with the prosecutor to even see what the discovery was. So how can you know what the evidence is if you haven't bothered to take a look at the discovery yet, dude? I mean, are you, were you born this stupid or did you have to work exceptionally hard on it? So um, I don't know how you know that when you didn't even look at the discovery that the prosecutor sent. But number two, as I did on October the 27th, the court is going to um, was it October 27th or something? The court is going to deny the oral motion. However, I will set a motion cutoff day. Um, there was a motion to dismiss. Uh, requested on October 27th. At that time, the court denied the motion, indicated that the people must produce the evidence to Mr. Crowley. The people have indicated that they have done that. The court is going to set a motion uh, date. Uh, so first, I'm going to set the jury trial for June the 17th. Uh, jury trial. 2024, that's at 10.30 a.m. Court is also going to set a final pretrial conference and motion hearing date of May the 16th. So the final pretrial conference. Well, that's pretty much it, except for one last thing that he has to say and will. It's a doozy. Yes, Your Honor, I'm looking at the email that was sent to me by evidence.com um, from the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. There is no contact information on this email that I have um, related to the evidence, the video evidence that was sent on October the 29th, 20, 2023 at 9.40 a.m. There is no contact information here. That's why I was calling the prosecutor's office to get the contact information. Can the prosecutor provide me with her contact information? 
at evidence.com, dude. Uh, you're looking in the wrong place. That email should have been sent to you by the prosecutor, which they've been telling you that. Check for the prosecutor's email. Don't go to another freaking website, you dipshit. Miss Ritter, can you give Mr. Crawley your contact information that's in the bar journal that every other person would be able to go get? Can you provide him with the contact information that's in the bar journal that's available to the public? Yes, Judge. I am sending an email now with my contact information. All right. Anything further? No, thank you, Judge. No, thank you, Your Honor. All right then we're gonna be all set until May the 16th at 11 o'clock for any motion hearing and final pretrial conference. Everyone have a great day, stay safe and happy new year. You as well, Your Honor, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, Judge Bryant, but you should at least at some point declare this uh, man incompetent to represent himself because clearly he doesn't have the tools or mental capacity to be able to navigate his way through a court proceeding. Well, hopefully it'll be a learning experience for this moron, but I seriously doubt it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?